Hello from our news center in Bogota. I'm Brian Andrews with our next story. Cuban pig farmer Daniel Garcia is getting more out of his pigs than he ever thought possible. He's installed a biogas system to exploit the fuel potential from his pig's poop, turning it into methane and carbon dioxide for use in his home. But Garcia's pigs are producing more fuel than he can use, so he's sharing it with his neighbors using recycled, hermetically sealed plastic bags for storage and distribution. The bags are more commonly used to store tomato pulp, but here in Cuba, recycling is a way of life. It's always about recycling, not throwing anything away and taking advantage of everything. What you throw away, others can live on. So I wanted to close the cycle, and about six months ago, the biogas was already working. And so is his distribution system. After filling the bags with biofuel, he simply delivers them to his neighbors. And with erratic electricity supply for them, Garcia's pig-generated gas is invaluable. This has helped me a lot, and maybe not just me, but the people who live around here. When the power goes out like the other day, I can help the neighbors heat milk for their girl and fry an egg. Garcia says his system is cheap and time efficient. He can fill a bag in just 30 minutes, giving a family enough fuel to cook meals for two days. This resourceful pig farmer hopes his idea will spread to other pig farms, and not just in Cuba. Imagine how many pig pens there are in the world. How many pigs? We have an old saying that quality is in our hands. It's a guarantee for the future. We can either take care of it or destroy it. And having demonstrated that his pigs can be a source of both food and fuel, Daniel Garcia may be at the forefront of a new revolution in Cuba. And that's our story. Thanks for watching. From Bogota, I'm Brian Andrews. This has been a presentation of the NTN24 News Team in Bogota, Colombia.